up guys, it's me, Michael Angela Villamilla, and today I will be showing you a game that is related to projectile motion. So without further ado, let us go on with the video. So the game is actually called Shoot the Pong. And now, I will demonstrate to you the mechanics of this game. First, you will need a set of ping pong balls and plastic cups. Second, position first the plastic cup on a designated area. It can be on a table, floor, or a ground. Third, the player must position himself or herself a few inches distance from the plastic cups. Fourth, the player should toss the ball upward and make sure to shoot it in the cup. Fifth, the player scores one point when he shoots the ball inside the cup. Each ball is equivalent to one point. Sixth, the player have a maximum duration of 30 seconds. After that, another player will enter the game. And lastly, if a player who scored more than the other player, then he or she is declared the winner. So the players are yours truly and my sister. And now, let us formally start our game. In 3, 2, 1, go! So now, I will discuss to you the game's relation to projectile motion. The Shoot the Pong game is a heavy contender for an example of projectile motion. It is because when you throw the ping pong ball in order to shoot it inside the cup, it travels a parabolic path which is very evident in projectile motion. And of course, motion is seen because the ball is projected into the air. So, that's all for this video guys. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you learned something from my demonstration and I hope you will also apply it on the concept of projectile motion. Please click the subscribe button and click on the notification bell for more updates. If you can do, please encourage your friends to do this game since it is very fun and educational at the same time. Goodbye guys, thanks for watching.